All right, Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. Last week's episode really disappointed the waffle s'more. I thought for sure that was going to do fantastic, but it didn't. Evidently, nobody likes sugar, 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 and more sugar. So this week we're going back to savory. Big, huge meatball sub. Three loaves of bread. 75 meatballs, three cans of souse, and two pounds of cheese. Let's do this. Gigantic meatball submarine. We got two bags of the ball. We're gonna go ahead and put those in and warm those up. And we're gonna souse them up. Three jars of sauce there. We got the hunts. Now there's 76, 76 meatballs in each one. That's a lot of meatballs. 76 balls. Look at this ball porn action. You know, in about a half an hour, there's gonna be more balls in my body than you finish this thing. Your balls are smoking. Smoky balls. Switch your sides. Give me this one up. Anderson's already trying to get some action down here. Look at this. Cool, so as in all giant food creations, we got the one dollar Italian loaf from Walmart. These things are delicious. Is it not delicious? It's good bread. And for a buck, I mean you really can't beat it. It's uh, almost the best thing since sliced bread. But I'm ching. What we're gonna do with this, we're not just gonna eat traditional bread. No, 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 no. I'm gonna turn this into garlic toast. Got three, three of our loaves cut open there. Feel, Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Yeah, you missed. <laughs> I think he has the most points, but he also has like the most missing. This percentage is bad. All Rick. right, let's go ahead and. A Make some garlic toast out of this. You got that buttery spread, but luckily there's no hydrogenated oils in it. So it's, does that mean it's healthy? No, <laughs> probably not. That doesn't deem it healthy. I don't know. I stopped on the way home from the dollar store because it's on the way home. This is what we ended up with. Get this, Mr. Fool. You know what would make this better if it was peanut butter? Yeah. Yeah, it would. This peanut butter is delicious. Focus. Alright, Mr. Fool, let's garlic this up a little bit. Looks garlicky. We're gonna make this like authentic garlic bread, like when you buy it. You gotta hit that parsley and that Italian seasoning in it. That's how they do it. Right? That's not how they do it. <laughs> it get this nice. over the top action, getting both of them going. See that? How you like that technique? 
It's not like, like, over the top, see? Remember the movie Over like the Top? Like, Over the Top? Remember the movie Over the Top? Sylvester it's like a switch. It's like a switch when he turns his hat backwards. Got two trays going. Look at that. Uh oh. Oh, we have to go top and bottom. All right. Still warming our bottles. We're coming out with the good stuff. Look at that. This is the good stuff. It smells good. Yeah, it's garlicky. Uh, I think I uh, maybe better cook to perfection. Got to get all the got to get all the bottoms established here. Oh, oh man, Dan. Boy, that's hot. All right. Hot. <laughs> Too hot. Too hot. Hot. Too hot. If you know what movie that's from, comment below. Thanks. I don't know. I'm gonna find out. I don't know. Three of them's probably about the right. Ball to bread ratio. Ball to bread ratio. I think that's the case. Maybe. I don't know. Right now, I got that first one loaded up. We're going to start on this second one. We're going to see where the dust settles. We get two loaded on there. That's a lot of meatballs. So. Yeah, that is a lot of meatballs. Need another bread. Think so. Yeah, you still got that whole other one. Those things are going to be huge. Four feet of meatball Four sandwich. Meatball sandwich. Yeah. Dude, so many balls. I'm telling you, the induendos that I can, I can already think of that are going to be happening during this video. So many balls in my patty. All the balls. All the balls in your mouth. <laughs> All the balls in your mouth. I got balls running away here. This is like a, a will be one of them kinds of movies where you're trying to put balls places. Just trying to find places for balls. Oh, casualty. Marty probably got it. Don't worry. Marty definitely is trying to get it. How's our uh, ratio looking out there? <laughs> Too many meatballs for three. This one over here, yeah, that one needs more. This one needs more balls. Gotta try to distribute our balls a little better. Anderson's about to get him some. <laughs> he just wants a meatball. Marty got one. Alright, Mr. Pool. Couple. 
<laughs> hit a couple balls on the lease. Sometimes you just gotta restack your balls. It ain't easy being cheesy. You should have put a layer of cheese down. Think I should have? I don't think you know. Too late now. I have a feeling I guess it's all gonna melt anyway once I get it ladled on. Cheesy. Look at that. Alright, so as you saw in the previous clips there, Mr. Pool and myself went ahead and put together this huge meatball sandwich. It's three feet long, 75 plus meatballs, two pounds of cheese, three pounds of bread. Not just any bread, garlic toast loaves. Homemade, kinda. The bread's not homemade, but the loaves are turned into garlic bread here. So it's homemade. We're gonna let this cool down a little bit, then we're gonna get into it. The only thing we don't have to let cool down is the water inside this bottle because it's from the coldest water. And the name speaks for itself because it is the coldest. So make sure you go over and check out thecoldestwater.com. Use my link below. Get yourself one of the bottles. 21 ounces the whole way up to a gallon. All right, so without further ado, the 14 pound meatball garlic loaf sub challenge. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Now I say 14-ish pounds because you got three pounds of bread two pounds of cheese, six pounds of meatballs, and three pounds of sauce. It's 13-ish, 14 pounds, a little bit of the sauce. Didn't make the transfer, but it's in that range. It's pretty big. I mean, I could weigh it if I had a scale that would stretch the whole thing, but it's this long. What we're gonna try to do is cut it. Listen to that. I'm not doing my laundry today. So you don't hear the washer running in the background, which is good. Oh, look at that. Blammo. Meaty goodness. Mm. You have, you have a ball jump off. Mm. Man, that's good. Cheese melting together. These big food creations are always messy. It's like they're epic. And the first meatball runaway. Couple runaway balls here. Yeah, you know, the tiny balls are frozen. <laughs> They're not that bad. My original concept for this was to possibly make like a gigantic like meatballs, and just put like five huge meatballs on a double loaf. Comment below if you think you can handle all these balls. May or may not have cut my tablecloth. Mm. 
Why'd your cheese run off? break this thing down into more manageable sandwiches. How's that sound? You almost can take like the top off, take half the meatballs out like that, and make a normal size like meatball sandwich. See? Look at that. It's like regular. Ah, oh, this one's wet. I got a big loaf here of wet balls. Aaron's been trying to get his spot already. Oh, puppy's messy. Alright, so we're up. Eight minutes in now. I got a third of it down. I feel like washing myself off. That melty cheese. <sighs> Boy, are you? I'm out there below. Anybody that has a gigantic like bread making apparatus, like a bakery, if you make these huge buns for us, that way it's all one big piece. Look cooler that way. I need a better after I have to clean all the south out of my hands. Perfect. There you are. See that Mr. Pool coming in clutch. Man, that's, that's a ticket right there. <clears throat> that's peanut pieces. Really soggy. Oh, what's that thing, Andy Pool? Man, that thing's limp. I got a bunch of balls in a limp piece of bread. <laughs> Here, debating on this, and we realized that there was a huge mathematical calculation error. There's 190 plus meatballs on this thing because I don't remember thinking 75. I was only counting like one bag part of the serving and I realized that it's 16 servings of meatballs. There's six in each bag and there's two bags. So there's almost 200 meatballs 
oh, on this massive sandwich. It's got, oh, I got the hiccups going. But anyways, so we're just under 20 minutes in. <clears throat> we're gonna slide this thing over and get this last half out of the way. I don't know for sure if this is the most meatballs ever on a sandwich, but it's the most I've ever eaten on a sandwich. I'll tell you that. I made a regular hoagie out of the top and a row of meatballs. Lucky for him, he got a ball that time because he ain't got any normally. This was good about. 19 minutes ago. Comment below if you like meatball subs and what would you put with it? What do you put with a meatball sandwich? Salad, I guess. <clears throat> salad, fries, potato salad, coleslaw. Oh, comment below. I miss Chuck that. By a lot. Don't check that. Check them down. I think it was 16 meatballs. 16 servings, 6 meatballs. Each bag. Sixteen servings, six meatballs. Yep. Yeah, so thirty-two servings of six. We just confirmed. So there's like 192 meatballs on this one. Almost 200 bow! She got another bag. Not too many. It's still warm. We're just under 28 minutes in. Uh, I'm almost done eating balls. Yeah, if you can blow yourself eating, you never leave the house. <laughs> nope. No, down to the last handful of meatballs. And I just got this soggy bread. Makes your pool coming in clutch. A little more H2O. Got this last uh, kebab of meatballs. So if my calculation is correct, that's 192 plus meatballs in my bag. That's a lot of balls.
Oh, goose. No. Oh, wow. 33 minutes and 23 seconds. Whoa. All right, kill the clan. So there was a 14-ish pound meatball sub. Like I said, there was a miscalculation. There was 192 meatballs on that thing. Oh. Six pounds of beef. Oh. <sighs> Ugh, I got so much indigestion and the sodium overload. Sodium blood pressure is probably up. I feel hot. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing these giant food creations. Comment below if you have any more suggestions. I'm working my way through them. This was a subscriber suggested video. So you never know. Comment below. Your idea may just make it into a video. But follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. T-shirts and decals are available. I want to get some new designs out there, so if you guys are interested in those shirts, $15, that includes shipping. Information below. Until next time. Ugh. Meatball sub. Take it easy.